Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, No Tires, Just Gas, back in the game with a brand new video, and today we're doing something a little bit different, something I've never done on the channel. We're going to be opening some uh, Donner's Panini NASCAR cards. I picked these up at Target today. Um, I've been collecting, or I used to collect a lot of these cards, um, like all the time, and I can show you on my book at the end of this video. Um, but I haven't gotten any new ones in a couple years, so I figured I would pick some up. So I've got two here, and then I've got uh, two more down here uh, on my desk. So four total, 30 cards per pack. So 120 total cards, uh, and let's jump right into it. This is raw and unedited, and I actually already have two of the packs opened, but I haven't looked through them yet. Um, don't know really. I don't know why I opened them. I just did. But I haven't looked through them yet, so it'll be my first reaction. And yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with this pack, which was the first pack I opened. And I know that because the first card that I see. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with a Tony Stewart revved up card. Uh, I really like this card. Um, don't know what it is, but I just like how it looks. So that's cool. Got a Jeff Gordon, which is one of my favorite drivers of all time. Got a Bill Elliott McDonald, so that's really cool. First three cards in that pack have all been keepers, have all been bangers, so that's pretty good. Got a Kyle Larson. Got a Kurt Busch Race Kings, that's pretty cool. We've got a Jake Drew. I'm guessing he's like an Arco driver. Yeah, it says Arco on his suit. Cause I've never heard of that guy. Cole Custer. Oh, I'm kind of covering it up. Cole Custer. Got a Sheldon Creed in the Wheel and Fire suit. That's pretty cool. We've got a Corey LaJoy. It's pretty cool. Really like Corey's. Uh, pretty underrated. Jeremy Clements Daytona win for when he won at Daytona last August. Kurt Busch uh, in the 45 car before he retired. Got a Grant Enfinger, or as Vince Welsh would say, Grant Enfinger. Kyle Larson. This one's pretty cool. We got a Garrett Smithley card. And that looks like it'd be Cody Ware's old fire seat before he had his uh, whoopsie poopsie. So that's weird, because I've never seen Gary Smithley in that fire suit. Another Tony Stewart. Not as cool as the other one, though. Got a, another Corey LaJoy. Same picture, different card. This one's pretty cool. We got a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Race Kings card. Got a... Yeah, William Byron. Yeah, this one's like one of the shiny ones, so that's pretty cool. Got a Haley Deegan. We got a Kyle Larson. That's a keeper for sure. That one's pretty cool. Another shiny one around the perimeter with the uh, Unleashed and the bears in the background, which makes sense because he is from California. We got, I'll show these together Best Friends, Happy Harvick, and Chase Elliott. And they are both Power Squad cards. So we got Harvick and we got Elliott pretty cool. Another Kyle Larson, only the sixth one in that pack. We've got a Daniel Suarez card, pretty cool. Another Daniel Suarez, back-to-back -back Suarez. I think I like this one a little better. Alex LeBay, that's pretty cool. I'm going to adjust this to come a little closer. Got a Haley Deegan, that's pretty cool. Justin, yeah, Justin Haley, who just committed career suicide for no reason by leaving Call Lake for Rick Ware. Don't understand that at all. And the last one, this one's actually really cool looking. Got a uh, Ross Chastain Race Kings card. Oh, never mind, I missed one. This is the real last one. Eric Amarola. Oh, I missed this one. It was at the bottom of the pile. Which, you know, just happens to be like the GOAT of all time, you know. What I have to say has been said. 
Don't ask why he's my favorite driver. It's a long backstory. But I know y'all are going to call that random. So moving on to pack two, and this is the last one that I've already opened. But like I said, I haven't looked at any of the cards except for like the first one because they were on the top. And then these two are still in the packs, so I haven't seen any of these. Don't really know why I opened them. So we're going to start off with a Jack Wood for this pack. Uh, start of this pack, Jack Wood, driver for KB and the Trucks. Brett Moffat, that's a cool one from Iowa. I have a lot of family from Iowa, so... I'll respect a good Iowa driver. John Hunter Nemechek. Some school Dale Earnhardt Jr., second one of the day. Christopher Bell, who I think is one of the most underrated uh, Cup Series drivers. Uh, Denny Hamlin. Hypocrite Hamlin. Tony Bridinger. Another Denny Hamlin. I don't understand why Denny Hamlin is still trying to defend the fact that he didn't touch Kyle Larson. Like, from Harvick's onboard, it's pretty obvious. Uh, Sam Mayer, who just got his first Xfinity win at a Road America that was yesterday as I'm recording this. Taylor Gray. Sorry if the camera's allowed to focus. Austin Dillon. This one's pretty cool. Race Kings Christopher Bell. We've got another Sam Mayer. We've got a Ray Black Jr. Haven't heard of that name in a while. Wonder what he's up to, because I have not seen him since like 2020. Uh, Denny Hamlin. Another one. Kurt Busch. Pretty cool. Another Dale Earnhardt Jr. Race Kings card. I'm pretty sure we got that same card in the last pack. I don't see it, but I'm pretty sure we did. So that's a duplicate. This one's really cool. Mark Martin. Old school picture. With the Bud Shootout 1999 winner trophy. That's pretty cool. Ryan Vargas. Hard not to like Ryan. Great guy. Takuma Koga. Never heard of that guy. He's got an Arca suit, so that probably explains it, because I don't watch Arca. Got a Daniel Suarez Race Kings. I'm pretty sure that's a duplicate, but I could be wrong. We've got a Denny Hamlin. A Derek Krause. Hard not to like Derek. Pretty good kid. We've got a revved up Jimmy Johnson card, similar to the Tony Stewart card from earlier. So that's pretty cool. Got another power squad. This time it's Kurt Busch. And we got back to back Kurt Busch, actually. This one's pretty cool. Uh, kind of reminds me of Las Vegas a little bit. This time with the Unleashed card, we got Alex Bowman. Similar to that Kyle Larson card from the last pack. We got a Rusty Wallace card. This one's nice. Hold on. I think I got two cards that are stuck together. Because uh, on the back it says Richard Petty, and on the front it says Rusty Wallace. So, yeah, I think these two got stuck together. There we go. Yeah, Rusty Wallace and then Richard Petty. Those are both pretty cool. We got a Ryan Blaney. Which is another one of my favorite drivers. And then we got Daytona 500. Like, get a chance to win, blah, blah. So, pretty good second pack. I think the first pack is still a little bit better. And now we're going to open up the third pack. Don't really get why these things are so hard to open. It doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, let's see. Try the other side. There it is. Third pack, here we go. Dennis James Allen Hamlin. Got Kurt Busch. Got another Dale Earnhardt Jr. Race Kings. I really like to put that card in. We got a duplicate Mark Martin. A duplicate Ryan Vargas. Oh, dropped it. Got a Eric Jones Focus Factor. That's pretty cool. Landon Castle, 
I wish he was still in the Xfinity series. He didn't impress me that much, but I still like Landon. Kyle Larson, Race Kings, that's a pretty cool looking card. That's a keeper. Casey K, and that one's pretty cool. I miss Casey. Bill Elliott, that's a duplicate from the first pack. Bubba Wallace, as much as I don't like Bubba, uh, it's a pretty good looking paint scheme. Got another Taylor Gray. This one's not a duplicate, though. Just the same driver. Another Eric Jones. So it's cool. Texas Terry Labonte. Uh, hometown hero for me, kind of. I mean, I'm on the complete opposite side of Texas, but still from Texas. Tyler Reddick. That one's pretty cool. Uh, we got a Tony Stewart. From what it looks like 2016, that was pretty cool. Ryan Blaney. Got a Clint Boyer. I miss Clint. As a Jeff Gordon fan, you would think I wouldn't like Clint, but I actually really like Clint. And speaking of Jeff Gordon, right there. Got a Daniel Hemrick. This looks like a 2023 card, maybe. Got a Paul Menard. I kind of forgot about Paul Menard, if I'm being honest. Joey Gase, this one's cool. I really like Joey. One time I um, I sent him an email and asked him if he could do an interview for uh, this channel, actually. It was a couple years ago before I um, kind of disappeared for like a year and then privated all my old videos when I came back. And he said he couldn't do the interview, like on a video call, but he did answer my questions that I sent him in the email, so that's pretty cool. Josh Berry. One of my favorite Xfinity drivers. This time with the Unleash, we got Austin Cedric. This one's cool. We got a Elite Series Ryan Blaney card. So that one's pretty cool. And oh, 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 this one's actually special. This is when he won the 2022 All Star Race at Texas Murder Speedway. I was actually at this race and, um, Ryan Blaney is my uh, second favorite driver behind uh, Eric Amarola. So it was actually really cool to get to see him win in person, even though he had to win twice. And the race was kind of trash, except for obviously Blaney winning and Chastain uh, almost flipping. But that one's cool. So whenever I get the 124 diecast of this, which I'm going to soon, uh, that's going to go sit right next to it. So I'm putting that one off to the side. That's actually probably my favorite card so far. Got a Richard Petty Power Squad card. That's interesting. And we got another one that's like stuck together, Alex Bowman and Richard Petty. And we got two of the same cards back to back. Two Richard Petty Power Squads. And then we got the uh, the Alex Bowman. This one's cool. It's like super smooth and shiny. Same card, but with Chase Elliott. Same song, different verse. Chris Busher, and that's it for this pack. And then we got the Panini card again. And last but not least, we got the fourth pack, the last pack. And so far, I think the first pack is still my favorite. And I think this Ryan Blaney card is probably my favorite card overall. Uh, like I said, just because I was at that race and got to see him win in person, as because he's one of my favorite drivers. That was a, a pretty special night. But let's see what the fourth pack has to offer. If I can get it open, there it goes. And boom. Last pack. Let's hope for some good ones. Starting it off with Parker Chase. An Xfinity card. That's pretty cool. Got Jeb Burton. Another Xfinity card. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Harrison Burton. Uh, two Burns, Jeb and Harrison back to back. So that's pretty cool. I like Harrison. I think he's kind of forgotten about in the Cup Series nowadays just because he's the definition of average, but I still like him. Got Ben Rhodes. Got Michael McDowell, who's actually having probably a career year this year. He's holding on to a playoff spot without a lucky win. Got Brad Keselowski. I really like this paint scheme. Not gonna lie, I thought that was Ryan Blaney for a second, but it's Austin Cindric. This one's cool. We got a Danica Patrick in her final ride. So 
never a big fan of Danica, but it's still a pretty cool car. Really old school Richard Petty, even before the SCP days. Haley Deegan. Got Justin Allgaier. Another Danica Patrick. That's pretty cool. Got Mickey Mouse himself, Chase Elliott. We've got Michael McDowell. That's pretty cool. Got Paul Menard. Pretty sure that's a duplicate. But still a cool card. We've got Brett Moffitt. Like I said earlier, I like Brett. Gotten two Taylor Grays. Now we have a Tanner Gray. So that's a pretty cool set, I guess. The Gray Brothers. Got a Kyle Busch in the Interstate Batteries Fire Suit. Looks like this might have been 2020. So back in the Joe Gibbs days. And I think the 2020 Interstate car was probably the best Interstate car of all time. Got Bubba Wallace. Like I said earlier, as much as I don't like the guy, that's a pretty cool looking car. Probably a keeper. Got Brandon Jones. We've got the GOAT, Eric Amarola. It's a pretty nice looking card. I like the gold, like on the on the name part and stuff. We've got oh I see a couple cool ones coming. We've got Kevin Harvick, pretty average card. Mark Martin, that's like the third Mark Martin card we have. We got a Metal Masters Martin Truex Jr. card. This one looks pretty cool. And then for the last Unleashed card of the video, we've got Chase Elliott. I really like the look of these Unleashed cards. We've got Joey Logano Elite Series. Looks like we got an Alex Bowman under the lights. Got a Kevin Harvick under the lights with the red apple paint scheme. For the millionth time this video, we got this Dale Jr. Race Kings card. And last but not least, we got Casey Kane. So that's it for the video. All the packs are empty. And um, if I had to pick out some of my favorites, uh, this Ryan Blaney card is uh, probably my favorite. Uh, the Eric Amarola card is up there. Really, any Eric Amarola card, just because he's my favorite driver. Um, yeah, this one's up there as well, the other Eric Amarola. Uh, any of the Unleashed cards, I really like the look of those cards. Um, this Ross Chastain card actually looks pretty nice. Uh, what else was there? Um... The Tony Stewart revved up card was a, was one of my favorites. Uh, this Jeff Gordon card. Uh, this Bill Elliott card I really liked. Let's see, what else was there? I'm just kind of sifting through these. I'm probably missing a couple that I forgot about. Um, I think that's about it. As many times as we got it, this Dale Earnhardt Jr. Race Kings card is pretty nice. But I'm pretty sure we got one of those in every single pack. Uh, the Kyle Larson Race Kings was pretty nice. And I think that's about it for my favorites. I'm just sifting through them one last time. Yeah, I think that's about it for my favorites. So I actually gave you probably my top five, top seven-ish. Um, but with that being said, that's it for the video. Psych! Alright, we finally found it. I've legitimately been looking for like 20 minutes. Uh, I looked through like three different closets and I was about to go up in the attic because uh, I forgot where I put it. But uh, I'm not going to show you like every single card. I'm just going to kind of uh, flip through it. So uh, as you can see, uh, I used to be quite the card collector. Um, I'll have to do like a full showcase one time. But um, I'm not going to show you every single page. but. I'll show you most of them. I'm just going to skim through and see if I can find anything cool. I stopped collecting in probably 2020 is probably the last time I got cars. So, I've got a lot of like 2017, 2016s, 2018s, uh, maybe a couple 2019s. I've also got a lot of older cars. 
Oh, I've got a lot of the NASCAR Phoenix cards. But, I mean, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I used to have quite the collection. Um, just for, like, reference. Um, that's how many pages it is. That's probably, like, I would say, like, 50 pages, maybe. And, um, yeah. So, if y'all want to see a full card showcase, let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, once I uh, get all these in here, um, yeah, I'll definitely be willing to do one if y'all want to see it. And if y'all want to see more card openings in the future, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, with that being said, though, this has been No Tires, Just Gas. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, get down below, like, subscribe. It would really help us out on the push to 500 subscribers. Um, sorry I took a little break. I had had some personal stuff going on. I've just been busy. Um, I'm going to try to get back on the grind. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, though, because I have school starting back up soon, and that's going to take a lot of my time. And I also have a second channel, uh, my gaming channel, which is doing a lot better um, than this channel is right now, so I've been trying to focus on that. Uh, if y'all want to go support that channel, I'll leave the link in the description, or you can search for Golden Clips Gaming. Um, but yeah, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the other channel, and I hope I can um, get back into this channel soon. No promises, though. Um, I will start posting uh, long vids and like short uh, like edits uh, consistently soon, eventually. I just can't promise when that will be. But yeah, I'm rambling on too much. Uh, go down below, like, subscribe, all the YouTuber things. And thank you guys so much for watching. And have a blessed day. Peace out.